We are just Ooh, moments I see away. Movement. Just moments away from the richest person in the world is leaving the world. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. <laughs> That's right. He'll be back. <laughs> he and uh, three others set to go and uh, do something most people, I think, dream about. Some mm -hmm. people have no desire, like us, to do, but want to watch and witness because it is historic. We're talking youngest to oldest right here. An 18-year-old is on board. Uh, you've got Jeff Bezos, his brother, who's about, I think, 50 years old, a bit more of a private guy. And then you have the oldest person, 82-year-old Wally Funk, mm -hmm. who is a uh, space pioneer in her own right, who is going to experience this. And look, it's nice that she's there because there's no test pilots, no flight engineers About aboard a with left. them. Yeah, no, this is unmanned. Mm -hmm. uh, this is different from uh, the Virgin Galactic uh, rocket. In multiple ways. In many yeah. ways, mm -hmm. but one being the fact that uh, two pilots were actually used to operate the flight last week. Okay, 45, well, 45 seconds, seconds away. Oh, my oh goodness. Boy. <laughs> I'm really I nervous did not expect that. to be this excited for me, but I did. I woke up this morning thinking, oh, this is kind of scary for them. This is kind of nerve-wracking. Okay, the closer we get, the more um, exciting it becomes. So why don't we, I think we should all just experience this. Let's just listen in. We're about, what, 20, 20 25 seconds, seconds away? Yeah. Okay. 20 seconds away. All right, here we go. Let's just watch this. T minus 16, guidance internal. T 10 seconds 10, away. 9, it's time 8, for First human flight, Godspeed, first crew four, of New Shepard. Let's start. light this candle. Two, Experience. They are her on that. I'm just actually really in awe. Um, so do you see it go? It's going vertical. That's another difference from last week's Virgin Galactic um, space blast. This is a bit different in the way that it's going up to space, and then it will separate, and that's where they are in the capsule up there, in the very top. And, you know, once they're up there, mm -hmm. for about four minutes or so, they can uh, they can Back unbuckle, and they can float up in space mm -hmm. and actually experience what it's like to be up there, and then they'll have to buckle back down, and it'll be over before before you know. It really you know? will. It, they're going about 62 feet. miles oh, skyward, which doesn't sound far, mm -hmm. right? But obviously you can take a look at what's happening. This is different than anything we've ever experienced. It, it is also different from what we typically think of when we think going to space. Still well, this, an amazing experience. Th you know, I'm glad this all worked out. We were about, I don't know, 12 or so minutes um, I guess you could say behind schedule. It was supposed to go out. Uh, they were supposed mm -hmm. to take off at six in the morning, but weather conditions were great, right, Samada? Like everything. Great, perfect. You could see for yourself. Uh, we're dealing with fair skies, temperatures in the low 70s. Wind speeds were between eight to nine miles an hour coming out of the north. So just beautiful weather conditions, and and just in time because later this afternoon we were expecting the possibility of some uh, isolated thunderstorms around the area. But uh, just again, a beautiful morning out there in West Texas. They're going, yeah, over 60 miles above the Earth's surface to the edge of space. Incredible stuff. And we're watching it live right now. Yeah, I think a lot of people are tuning in to watch this uh, live. Uh, for those who don't know New Shepard, the Blue Origin spacecraft, it is named after Alan Shepard. That is the first American in space. He was the first American in space. So uh, that is the honor that they have given this spacecraft. Um, Lots of nods to history, though. This happening also on the 52nd yeah. anniversary of... Obviously, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, their moon landing back in 1969. Very symbolic. And mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, you talk about space tourism, exploration, what, you know, when can the average person go? Obviously, this is, this was not for the average person. $28 million uh, ticket, right? They opened up that one seat for one person to be able to bid and go. All that money, of course, going to charity, but still, um, this is not something most people can afford. Uh, and the person who who won the auction or got the got the spot? Um, 
canceled last minute because they had some kind of scheduling conflict. Um, we don't know a whole lot about that person, but it did open the way for this 18-year-old from the Netherlands to be able to go because his father also had bid in the bidding war. Um, so quite, quite a moment and a memory for this kid and, and the three others on board. Yeah. He's planning to start his freshman year of college after a gap year. <laughs> This, this is what he did. This is, this what is he when did. he hits like, hey, I started a year behind because I did this. Um, I, I'm really still really touched by Wally Funk's story, mm -hmm. um, only because she dedicated her whole life and career, and this was her passion. And um, back in the 60s, she was unable to make the cut and do what she loved just because she was a woman. And I think it's really nice that um, Jeff Bezos offered her this spot. Yeah. Um, it, it, it means a whole lot um, for her, i sure. 60 years in the making. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how many minutes are left? How long have they been? <laughs> anyone, keep, anyone keeping count? We were very excited at first. Now it's like... I want to say, what, four or so minutes have really? passed? I think okay. the launch was right around 6, 12 this morning is Someone... what I was kind of looking at. And, you know, like you mentioned, Roxia Brooke, uh, I was just doing a little bit of reading. Their sister, Christina, uh, obviously very excited for her, both of her brothers. Uh, she's going to give them a big hug when oh, they land. Oh, you can see the separation land. there. Oh, did you see, you see that, Sumano? Yeah. And, uh, oh, okay, so um, our, our executive producer says you can hear them screaming. They're excited. I can't hear anything, but I guess you could. Oh, there, oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Success up there. Okay, we heard it for a moment. For, yeah. Uh, I, I was, they had um, unbuckled their seatbelts at that moment, so that's why you heard them screaming. But if you're looking at your screen right there, you see the booster and the capsule, right? That's what's separated. That's what you're One looking at. One minute warning. One minute warning. Wow, and you can hear them. They're excited in there. They're right now experiencing. This was the biggest part of the experience. This they are in space. Mm -hmm. Oh, there. That's a cool shot right there. Is. This is their view. This is... <laughs> That's so cool. Like, Look at what? that. Let's see. What let's let's try to experience. listen. I want to hear what okay. they're trying to say. It's kind of hard, I know. But...
First up, your booster has oh. landed. Booster landed, landed. Blue control bids up the stage to hear about the booster. And there it is, our crew capsule with our four, our four crew members on board. You have a very happy crew up here, I want you to know. <laughs> Stand by drogues. Stand by drogues. Stand by main. Stand by main. Oh, so far, a nominal flight. Here comes the crew capsule back from space. The drogues deployed. Here are the mains out, reefing and coming to full inflation our, our rocket went over Mach 3 and now they're coming floating back down at just about 15 or 16 miles an hour about to join us home back here in West Texas after having gone over the Carmen line the internationally recognized line of space the world's newest astronauts Gary how are you holding up friend <laughs> I, I'm speechless Wow. And those big, beautiful windows. I've just got about a minute and a half of floating before uh, the activation of the skirt jet to, uh, for, a, for, for a soft touchdown. At this point, um, there are sensors on board that are detecting how high they are above the ground, multiple sensors. And just six feet above the ground, that, that cushion of air will, will puff and they will have a soft touchdown, almost like just sitting in a chair. But I'm sure their adrenaline is pumping. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, you know, I don't want to say that's it. It was short, but we, I mean, what an amazing experience, even just to watch. I cannot even imagine. That's what I'm most anxious about. I, will, I can't wait to hear. And um, I can't wait to hear from them. I can't wait to hear. Welcome back. Wally New Shepard's first experience. human crew. 60 years in the making. What? What a Welcome flight. Welcome back to Earth. First step. Congratulations.